So we spent the day creating the video. We spent the time looking at the anatomy of our account here. We've got a video uploaded. In theory, anyone can find the video now and start to uh, start to give us traffic. Again, the whole point of getting views and subscribers is there's a captive audience. You saw over on my other company channel that video had 33,000 views. What's happening with that is that people are contacting us about help and questions about uh, Android programming. Um, so it's whatever you're trying to do online, um, social media helps for that. This is just a different aspect of it. This is very similar to what we would be doing on Twitter when we wanted to get followers. We're going to see that with some nuance. So I've got a video that I can possibly share. And let's talk about one tactic to get more views for our, for our video. Uh, what I need to do is, um, wherever you're at, make sure, you know, make sure you're in the dashboard because you can easily get lost. If you go off and wander YouTube and go watch videos, you're gonna get you're gonna get lost. How do I get back to my channel? You know, you're gonna see a different kind of screen as a consumer. The creator screen. You can always get back to it with your icon up there, Creator Studio. So wherever you're at, make sure you're in the Creator Studio again. We'll go back to Video Manager. And what I want to do is I want to get the link to my to my video because I want to use that link to get me more views. And there's lots of ways to get the link to your video. Here's one of them. If you're looking at your video in the video playlist, click Edit. This takes you back to edit all the aspects of your video. But notice also here is the link to the video. You can get it in other locations as we'll see, but here's one way. So find your video, <coughs> click edit, and then on the right side here you'll see the video URL. I'm going to right click and copy that. Now here's where the tactics that we talked about in other classes come into play. I want to find people that would be interested in watching this video. So we'll do some searching in YouTube, just like we searched in Twitter, Pinterest, everywhere. We're going to search. I've got this Motorola Moto E, so I'm simply going to search for Motorola, well let me be quick, Moto E review. Whatever recommendations it might give you here you can use those later but let's just do a, a search like this the content of this video is it's a Moto E review so I'm just very generically searching most likely my video will not appear that's okay the point is I'm finding videos from other people that have talked about or made a video about the same thing as mine my tactic here is to piggyback on the popularity of these existent videos. From Android Authority, posted a year ago, they did the Moto E review. 384,000 people have seen it. Detroit Borg did their version of it, 347 views. And Pocket Now did their version, 60,000 views. These are all potentially videos that I can take advantage of to get more traffic for my video. <clears throat> The more views that they have, that means more potential people could see my video. So let's say, for example, I will use this one from the Moto E from, a, from Android Authority. I'm going to click on the video to view it. I'm going to pause it. I don't have to watch it. I'm going to go to the video, and most of the time there's a spot for me to add a public comment, unless they turned it off. So 355 comments here. 385,000 views, 2,000 thumbs up. This is a pretty active video. This channel has nearly 2 million subscribers. So this is a popular video. I'm going to piggyback on that popularity by adding a comment. And remember, we can add a link here and it will become an active comment. This, though, we need to think like a marketer. We, we're not, I'm, just, I'm not just going to put my video here and click post because uh, every time you post on someone's video, that person gets the notification and then they can remove the comment. So this is way too much of a spam advertisement. I'm going to write something like, let's assume I saw the video. 
great device. It really is the best phone, the best bang for your buck. You, you can do this or not if you'd like, but I'll show you here. Here's our take. In a less spammy way, I'm giving something positive, I'm contributing to the conversation. But I'm still going to self-promote and have a link back to mine. Here's our take. Or something like, check out what we think about it. Or we'll say, here's our differing opinion. So how can we write something on someone else's popular video that will entice someone else, like Tracy right here, to click my link? Or Tobias? Or Isadora? I'm going after these people that are being active on someone else's video. I'm probably not going to get any views or likes or whatever from Android Authority. I don't need it. I want the views and the lit and the clicks and the likes from the people that are active on these videos. Daniel, Nova, Steve, Clay, all of these people. So you don't have to do this because this will happen for real, but I'm going to post it. And I've just added this comment to this popular video that people are still commenting. Even though they made this video a year ago, people are still commenting on it. If I put on newest right here, one week ago, someone commented. Three weeks ago. Eleven seconds ago. As more people come to watch this popular video, this popularity breeds popularity, my comment will show up there somewhere. And someone might say, well, what is this? Let me click on it. I just got a view. Best case, or minimum, I got a view. Maximum, I got a subscriber. This tactic is effective, but time-consuming full of nuances and pitfalls because I could get this comment removed by the moderator, not the moderator, but the owner of this channel. All, on all of my videos, I have the ability, I get a notification for all of my videos. I get a notification. It tells me there's a new comment before any of them show up, remember. And I can click delete and that link never shows up. On this one, it seems they have the allow all comments, so I can put mine. They can still, though, look at it and click the, the menu below next to the, to the comment and click delete. They can delete my comment, so there's my free advertising. I can delete my own, so if actually I don't want this comment on their video anymore, I can go back and delete my comment or edit my comment. Someone else's comment, so this is not my video, but with Tracy I can click and all I can do is report it. So for my own videos I can report them, I can delete them. So My tactic here is search on the topic of your video, find the popular ones, and comment on their videos positively on topic, subtly, and then advertise yourself. So one weird trick to get YouTube views. Find popular videos and comment on them in a positive way, in a positive on-topic way. and link your videos or channel in the comment. So piggyback on their popularity. It does work, because let me show you this. When I taught this exact same lesson a few days ago at Southwestern College, I did that exact thing. Let me switch to that other channel. And if I go here, I have one notification, which I haven't read yet, and I've got nine views already. The exact same video for another college, I did these tips, and I have nine views already. I have no followers, but I've already got nine views. I'm on my way up. Look at that. Look at that skyrocketing. <laughs> What's the notification here? Cigar commented. So I found that video, top five budget smartphones, and I made my comment right there. Yeah, the OnePlus One is bomb, but nothing beats this one. And then I wrote that, and someone else is in on the conversation. 
So I'm getting some views. Maybe I get replies. That's all good. The best thing is I get a follow. I get a subscribe. You know, I could go to Cigar's uh, profile and I uh, or a YouTube channel, and I can click subscribe. That's what I want people to do ultimately on mine. They come back to my channel, they click subscribe. So I'm being active. That's one tactic as well when we talked about the other networks like Twitter and such. Yes, you subscribe to someone, we may get a subscribe back. That works to some degree, but I don't really want to subscribe to random people that might be posting weird videos that I don't like because I'm going to see that stuff. I'm going to get notified of that stuff. So yes, I can subscribe to, to people, especially if they're on topic, and I might get a subscribe back. I might not. That's another tactic. Along the same lines of this tactic... Hey guys, Mike of this tactic of subscribing to, I mean, of commenting on the video? Well, as I'm saying, Detroit Borg is probably not going to give me the time of day. That's fine. There's these people, 620 people that are being active in the comments. What if I go in instead, um, what if I go in and reply to a person that has already replied to the video? I can click reply, and what that happens is their name is added to my comment. The point of that is now Shay will get a notification that says Victor's Tech replied to your comment. Now Shay is Shay knows that I exist. Just like when we did that on Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, etc. We are reaching out to someone on social media randomly on topic. And again, I'm going to say something here that keeps us on topic that um, keeps the conversation going that is positive. Worst case scenario, I get ignored. Best case scenario, I get a view, I get a like, I get a follow. Worst, worst case scenario is that they report me as spam. But that doesn't happen too much if you're on topic and nice and you know do it the right way. So I'm gonna say here, he's saying for all you people who are asking, yes, there is a notification led on this photo second. So I'm gonna say, Yes, that's been an invaluable feature of this phone. It truly is. So I'm being positive. I'm telling them something positive, just like I did on the other video. I'm saying what, how good they were to soften them up. And then I'm going to write something for myself. So it truly is the best budget phone out there. Here's our take. Link to my video. Again, worst case scenario, they just ignore it. Best case scenario, they click and I get a view. Bestest case scenario, they subscribe to me. Also to sweeten the pot, I'm going to like that comment. Yeah, great comment. So this person right here, they got a lot of thumbs up there. They got a lot of replies. Toto, you know, people are... are really commenting with, with Toto, 6,000 subscribers. So this is building upon the popularity that's already there, piggybacking on it. But you can really only reply to one, because it'll find you if you're throughout your Depending how you reply. I might go back over here to latest of tech. So right here, should I go for this or an iPhone? I could easily reply that and give an opinion and say, well, we think the Moto is better than the iPhone, and here's why, and then a video. So you can reply to everyone, and at a certain point, yes, you will look like a spammer. But if you do it, if you do it judiciously, if not, if not on every reply, you put a link to your video. That's fine, because then at least... Um, you said don't put a link on every like I'm doing right here. I'm not going to put a link to every single reply. I'm just being part of the conversation. Even at that point, my name is an active link. Someone could still say, well, that's a very good point. What are they about? So I'm going to click, <coughs> and then it's going to go off and see my channel, which they can then subscribe to. So as we can see here, YouTube is a big deal, but it's still the same sort of topic about search and put yourself into the conversation and such, but you need to come with a video. That's what we spent the last day on. 
Can anyone remind me what time it is? Officially, the class ended one minute ago, and they stopped paying me a minute ago. So I'm sorry, but we've got to wrap it up like in 30 seconds because there's another class coming in after us. This is still obviously a lot that we could learn here, and you probably have a lot of questions and such. You have my email. Send me an email via the syllabus. These videos, come back and watch them again. But keep trying it. All of this social media, social media, be social. Add to it, create an account, contribute, reply, be active. And you're going to see that it's going to pay, pay, pay off. Just like I showed very quickly and anecdotally on this test account I made two days ago, I'm getting some traffic. The journey of a thousand uh, miles starts with the first step. So start uploading those videos, commenting, being active, and it'll come back to you. Um, so thank you for taking the class. Hope to see you in a future one.